Welcome back, everybody. I'm Steve from GraphicDesignerTips.com. I had a question asked to me a couple days ago uh, from username Michael O. And it says, I like your tutorials. Do you draw your logos first before you go into Illustrator? Or do you just jump right from the start, basically, in Illustrator? And I like to say to Michael and everybody else who's watching this um, that it really depends. Now, um, Let's back up a second. If you're doing work for a client first, before you even think about doing, uh, you know, logo designs and stuff like that, you want to make sure you have your contracts in order and all that stuff. Um, if it is for a client or if it's for fun, you want to determine a couple things. You want to definitely determine the brand. Is there a brand? Is there a, a, already something uh, going on? Do they have um, a brand that you're revamping? Um, do they have a color scheme they like? Do they have a specific theme or idea? These are things that you definitely want to jot down from your client. You want to get everything out of them. Sometimes I sit down with clients and I say to them, I say, tell me what you do like. You know, do a search on the internet for brands or logos that you do like the ideas. Little things, the way the type was. You know, there's all different types of fonts. We all know this. And then I also tell my clients, find things on the internet that you do not like. So... These are the instructions I give my clients. So when they come back to me, sometimes they come back to me with nothing and they give me free reign. And that's great. It's great either way. So um, that's kind of like a before process. Um, now, when starting a logo, what you want to make sure is you want to sketch. No matter how good of a drawer you are, trust me, I am not a great drawer. I was great in college when I took two semesters of it and I was drawing life figures. And I got really, really good at it. But, you know, it's... It's one of those things that, you know, sketching is a quick thing. We're not asking you to draw the perfect uh, symbol or, or, or anything like that. Um, I'll actually show you real quick um, on uh, two of my last videos for my Logo Design Bootcamp series. Uh, this one up here, um, Hot Shots Hockey. This is, these are my sketches, no joke, all right? You get to a certain point where you do quick sketches. I don't know if you can see this. There we go. And... Um, you do some quick sketches and then you throw it on the computer and then it evolves from there. So if you look at my finalized logo, it looks nothing like my sketches, which is pretty cool. The other sheet just fell down. This is from my logo design bootcamp, J, Jam and Jammies. Has nothing. It doesn't look at all similar, okay? It's totally different. But, you know, it's getting a start, trying to figure out what kind of fonts you want. You know, bubbly. Do you want sans serif, serif fonts? Um, you know, Romans, wh whatever you're looking for. So, uh, you know, it's just, or it's just to get that look, you know, you don't have to actually write every word out in the font. You could just kind of emphasize things and, you know, put like symbols that you might want to put in there as a part of the logo. So it's really rough sketching it. So don't worry about getting it perfect. Um, I did that for a long time and I kind of was discouraged cause I wasn't the best, best, uh, drawer, but it's sketching. It's fun. You know, Break out a little sketch pad. This is my sketch pad right here. It's my sketch pad. I bring this everywhere. It's always in my car. And pencils. You want to have pencils, number two pencils with an eraser so you can, you know, mess around and erase, um, you know, whatever. So, you know, if you have a special pen you like to use, you could use a pen. It doesn't really matter. Whatever floats your boat. Just make sure you sketch. Don't just jump into Illustrator. But then again, on the flip side, if you have an idea in your head and you know what this logo, you see this logo already in your head. You don't have to waste time sketching if you really don't want to. It's just a suggestion. Um, so, like I said, after that, you want to definitely jump into Adobe uh, Illustrator with your ideas, and it's evolving process. Now, my canvas, when, when I design a logo for my logo design bootcamp series, or my clients, it doesn't matter. Um, it's my canvas is it looks like a bomb hit it. There's stuff everywhere. There's hundreds and hundreds of variations of the same thing. And uh, that's just because you can move things around in Illustrator and then you can try things out. So it's it's like sketching and brainstorming and doing all these extra things on the canvas. But um, they kind of work in tandem. So I hope that answers your question, Michael, and everybody else out there. Let me know what your what your um whole process is if you like to sketch before if you don't like to sketch before um personally sketching to me it actually i love it because it gets me to draw you know like 
The only time I draw besides sketching for logos is when I'm on hold and I'm just drawing crap with a pen, you know, you know, writing my name out on a paper on, on hold for five minutes or something like that. That's that's really it. So it's something that I enjoy. I like to sketch and um, keep your sketches over time. You know, you can look back and say, oh, look at that project and the sketch. You know, try to save them, try not to throw them out. And that's it. So comment below um, if you like what you saw. Definitely like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we come out with videos every week. Have a good night, everybody. Peace.